Hey guys, I'm the Simple Car Guy and this is my BMW i3 with the range extender. And today we will be talking about my top 15 useful hidden features on this quirky little car. We'll start with some simple ones for those newer to BMWs and the i3. This seemingly simple key actually has many hidden features. Everyone knows that you can roll down your windows and the sunroof on most BMWs by just holding the unlock button for a few seconds. But did you also know that there is a physical key that has a couple of features on its own? Not only is it able to open the driver's door, it can also lower and raise the windows if you hold it all the way to the right or to the left. Well, only the front window since the rears are just a fixed glass. A couple of other fun features I found is that if you hit the lock button on your key fob, when the windows are already somewhat up, just hit them one after another, the window will actually go up inch by inch. And if you have the European version, you can just hold the lock button and it will close the window completely and if your car is plugged into a charger and you lock it you will also see the charge status lastly if you hit the lock button twice within 10 seconds it will deactivate the tilt alarm and the interior motion sensor great for leaving your dog in the car speaking of leaving things in the car you don't have to open the rear door to put something in the back you can use this handy handle on the back of the front seat just like in a two-door car and you can put your stuff in without much hassle of course if you do open the rear door and look in the corner just over there you will notice that there are some pull tabs behind a cover there are these manual pull tabs all over the car you can open the charging port the front trunk and the fuel filler door using those while we're here at the fuel door, when you fill your car with either gas or electricity, don't let the cap just dangle on your paint. There is a built-in spot, just like that, to keep them off the paint and off the car. Switching over to the interior and the driving controls, there are some fun ones here as well. For example, I recently learned that the steering wheel is not only adjustable up and down, but it's also telescopic. How cool, I never knew this was a thing in this car. I'm very impressed that this car actually includes this. So you can adjust it literally whatever you like. Some of the features you use daily also have little tricks behind them. For example, when using a turn signal, you don't have to push it in the opposite direction and accidentally turn on the other one. You can simply tap it in the same direction to cancel it. I know it solves a problem that BMW has created by changing how the turn signals work, but it's cool nonetheless. You can also use the stock to turn on follow me home lights by pushing the stock towards yourself. You just hold it for a few seconds and as you can see, the light turns on. Similarly, you can turn on the parking lights by pushing the stock up and holding it. As you can see, roadside parking lamps on. So if you push it up, it's gonna turn on the right side or you can push it down and it will turn on the left side. This is great for street parking or parking in an alley. Switching to the other side of the steering wheel, there's only one interesting feature here, and that's that you can skip the neutral when selecting drive or reverse by pushing the gear selector past the first click. So normally you would do one click, and there you go, you're switching from drive to neutral, and you can go to reverse. But what if you wanna go straight from drive to reverse without going to neutral? All you have to do is go past the first click and it'll take you straight to neutral. And the same thing you can do for going back straight to drive. This one's easy to figure out once you drive for a while, but I thought I'd mention it anyway. There are a couple of tricks with the entertainment system as well. As an example, you can power the radio on while the car is turned off by simply hitting the power button. And then you can listen to music, go to the menus and do basically whatever you want. Just to the right of the power button though, we have some preset buttons and what most people don't know is that you don't have to use it for radio you can use it as a shortcut for almost anything in the system for example you can make one of them toggle the hold state of charge aka turn on the range extender or dim the control panel brightness or even switch to a different music source and much much more fun fact if you'd like to reset all of them you simply hold one and eight at the same time okay okay i hear some of you screaming that you know all of these already but did you know that this small city car also has a drift mode 
Okay, it's not actually called a drift mode, but there is a hidden menu that gives you tons of additional information and allows you to enable a roller mode where it will turn off the traction control, stability control, ABS and regenerative braking, giving you full control of the rear wheels. Getting into the hidden menu is fairly simple. You just hold the trip reset button for a few seconds and you are in. Here you can find a few options, including the roller mode, which you can press and hold to enable. You can also unlock this menu for a ton more information, like your battery capacity, temperature and other specs not otherwise advertised. To unlock it, enter the sum of your last 5 digits of your VIN and you are in. I will do a full video on this as I think it deserves a deeper dive. We can even check out the CIC iDrive service menu in the same video. Let me know if this is something you'd be interested in seeing. And if you haven't seen my camera install video, you might not know that there is a power plug right under the vents. So you can plug in your camera or better yet, have a short little cable to charge your phone. Also, there are two hidden coat hangers behind these little covers. All you have to really do is flip them around to reveal the coat hanger. And it's the same on this side as well. The last few items I wanted to mention have to do with the engine, driving and storing of the vehicle. One of the features that's hard to figure out by yourself as a driver is when you brake really hard, the car will also illuminate the lower lights, giving more of a warning to the cars behind. But not only that, if you open the rear hatch and your lights are no longer visible since most of them are here on the hatch, the lower set will take over and work as regular lights and brakes. Even uh, indicators, I believe, which is pretty cool. Great thinking on BMW's part here. Luckily, BMW did more thinking around the range extender engine, which leads me to the next hidden feature. You can put this car in emissions mode. This will turn on the engine and run it for 20 minutes to bring it up to operating temperatures and prepare systems for emission testing. Your battery charge has to be under 75% as it will actually charge the battery as a side effect. Could be useful in an emergency. To turn this on, open the hatch, turn on the ignition and then press the accelerator pedal three times and hold on the third time. Release and press the brake button, followed by the start and stop button. The engine will start at this point. Another fun fact about this motorcycle engine is that it actually has an oil dipstick. So you can check the oil level unlike most other BMWs. So you just lift this off, take this part, unscrew this part off, and there you go. You can change your, check your oil. Pretty cool. Nice job, BMW. The very last trick that could be useful for some has to do with storing a BMW i3 over a longer time. BMW says not to allow the vehicle to sit idle for extended period of time on low charge, so it must be close to fully charged to be stored. This will work great for the high voltage battery, but you will still be risking killing the 12 volt battery since simply having the car plugged in will not charge it. So to circumvent this, what you can do is set a departure time for once a week. This will power on the car and charge your 12 volt battery at the same time saving you a headache in the future. Wow, this turned out to be a pretty long video, so I hope you guys have learned something new or interesting about a BMW i3. And if you are a hardcore enthusiast, I would love to hear some of the things I've missed. Also, if you'd like to access some more truly hidden features, check out this video where I show you how to code your car for more range, true control of the range extender, and even adding a sport mode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.